the storm is is not over so it's high stakes game we need to watch and monitor stability so i was just alluding to the initial reaction and the initial reaction from the markets it seems to me the two scenarios that are modeled of market friendly government and a market unfriendly government it seems to me the U government of national unity is seen in south africa as market friendly if you just look at all those companies listed and are linked to the economic indices like the banks if you look at the insurance companies if you look at the retailers and if you look even the currency itself the rand versus the hat the us dollar the euro all of those seem to be has revalued significantly so the banks insurers retailers revaluation is anything between 5 and up to 10% capitec has revalued to up to 10% i think all mutual has revalued up to 7% sandlam about 8% net bank about six seven percent so all the banks insurers and the wholesalers the shop right has gone through the roof of about eight percent so those that are linked to that seem to believe that this is a market friendly government but they still need to form a government they still need to work together so you are so right it's not over that we need to monitor stability of this government from a namibian perspective so in terms of outflows you see what markets like markets like predictability they like stability they like that something they can predict whenever there's uncertainty they get nervous and when markets ner get nervous we get that reaction and you could see that in the currency you could see it in the stock market you could see it in the bond market or in the capital markets in general so but so far the initial reaction is telling us it appears the market thing is friendly but you are so right we need to continue watching the the stability if it continues if there is any form of instability i can tell you markets don't like instability markets don't like uncertainty they don't like unpredictability and if any of those come up you'll see that in in the prices of stocks and capital or the currency itself. 